Hello everyone, welcome back to your cat square. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I'm Athena, a product designer, illustrator, YouTuber, and a small business owner. If you would like to see how I created my art, you can click the link on the top corner to watch part 1 of day 1 to 15 of Inktober Drawing Tour. If you want to see the process I made for these arts, click this link to watch my previous studio vlog. Also, if you would like to see more of my art, I have all my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the social media links at the description box down below. Don't forget to click subscribe to my channel and like this video for my studio vlog and art related video. Alright, today I'm gonna share with you my second half month which is day 16 to 31 drawing for Inktober. To be honest, I skipped three days to give myself a break because it was a little overwhelming. The point of October drawing challenge is not to compete with anyone but ourselves. We take this chance to draw as much as we can to improve our art skill. I'm glad I took my break time so I can recharge myself and have the energy to keep going. I plan to finish all those three days I missed in very soon future though. I'll review those drawings on my future studio vlog since I finished the drawing. So let's start showing you my drawings, shall we? For day 16, we have oversized fat chicken. I mean, I have a really um, fun time to drawing this one. This is really cute, like the fat chicken. It's so chunky and looks so silly. Look at his face. I mean, her face. And she crashed the uh, scale that she's sitting on, so we couldn't know like how much she's overweighted. And <laughs> I think it's really cute. Um, for like the second half of the uh, Inktober thing, I do mostly um the digital art because I got uh, the new gouache brushes like gouache like brushes for my procreate and i want to experience it out and then practice more of my digital digital drawing skill and let's move to the next one on day 17 we have jaw from peach toba and then the moss toba 2021 um the moss toba one they have actually just an emoji for they're promptless. So on that day, I believe that's a cocktail. I think it's martini or so. I'm not a drink, like, I don't drink that much. So I don't really know, like, what kind of cocktail is that. And then lemon emoji. So I think it's pretty cool to, um, pretty cute to combine, like, these two, make it like a lemony kind of cocktail, but maybe non alcoholic because I don't really enjoy the alcohol taste and I got drunk like really easily. I mean, typical stereotype for Asian. Yeah, like we got like our face red like so easy. I mean, maybe it's just my case. Like some of my friends, they can drink a lot, but that's um something else. Um, Anyway, so I also try to print this out, but it's kind of offset. Like you can see the hint of the original yellow color in here and then um, it's just gone um so because i printed on a watercolor uh paper and i think it still need a lot um adjustment and trying to experiment my printer with this these kind of uh paper but let's see the original drawing. This is more cute, like cuter, right? And yeah, I think it's very refreshing with the yellow hint of lemon slice and then maybe that's a mint or basil. Do you put basil in cocktail? I don't know. But yeah, they, I put the um, pink fancy straw. I mean, you can bend the straw. It's 
kind of fancy. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a lot of fun experience the texture here. You can see it truly like wash like it's just like a traditional one and I use like the paper um, texture with this. So when I print it out and it looks exactly like um, I do the traditional drawing. I'll link the information about the gouache brush down below in the description box and so if you're curious about like which one I was using so you can find it out there I really recommend this saddle um this saddle brushes for the next day we have um uniform from peach toba and banana dog from cheek toba so this one for the uniform I plan it because it, it actually makes me um think of there's a souvenir kind of cake in Japan, like it, um, they came out like many years ago. It's called Tokyo Banana, and then they're they're really cute. It's like a banana shape, like this, and it has a caramel um sauce inside the cake, and they also have like some cute animal pattern. I remember there's like a giraffe or leopard and like very cute animal pattern on there and like there's also some limit um addition which i couldn't remember because they have so many different flavors um so it actually looks like a dog for me like a uh, banana dog for me i mean not like a real actually dog you must have to experience like uh, when you put the banana for so long to get browned and have to dot on there and it look exactly like the cake and exactly like the theme that we're going to do today. So I make um, several one at here. It's like uniform lined in here. It's actually just like the souvenir pack in the box. They all line up at here, very uniform. The last one, I want to do something different because I want to show you the caramel sauce inside of the cake. Um, now it seems a little bit um, scary, like you're breaking the animal, but remember, they're not really animals, they're cakes. Yeah, you eat your cake and break up your cake. So don't take care seriously, it's just a cute drawings. <laughs> So I'm um, thinking of the sound I saw, thinking of the shell that you can see like in cartoon, like mermaid kind of use the shell to hear something or use it like a telephone maybe. Yeah, because I never hear anything from the shell like except the ocean water hitting the sand on the beach. So, <laughs> but it's a cute imagination, isn't it? Um, for the spooky ghost, I don't want to draw for a traditional ghost. I suddenly think of like, so after thinking of the mermaid using, using the shell, I think of um, the evil eel in um, the Ariel Little Mermaid that Ursula have. Um, around her. But actually, I actually don't want to be that spooky, so I make it like a transparent, like half transparent ill of here. So, um, yeah, I think I did not that well on this transparenting thing because it still kind of looks solid. Maybe I should like lower down, water down the white one, the white wash. So, oh yeah, this is the actual wash, as you can see. So it kind of have like a 3D-ish texture here. Yeah, so I was like, there's a ghost, ghost eel living in the shell and he came up, uh, came out from the shell and singing and spread his love in the ocean. But, uh, yeah, that sounds silly, I know. <laughs> For day 21, we have Sun and Warm and Candy Apple. So, Candy Apple is actually my favorite snacks in 
like in the Halloween season, like the apple has a little sour hint of taste and with the caramel candy on there, it's like such a exciting sweet, like maybe it's healthy because it has apple, yeah, but there's a lot of sugar, never mind, and yeah, I think like just want to make the happy one came out from the apple. I think that's like a stereotype for like there's always a warm uh, peeking out of the apple, but actually there's not many on the market unless you're going to like on the apple tree to pick the apple. I guess so. <laughs> so um yeah, just make some silly doodle at here and the caramel. The candy is actually melted. I love like drawing these kind of melting thing, like melting thing. I think it's very satisfying for me for drawing like these kind of like swirls, the flow, these kind of stuff. So let's go on for 22. To be honest, I didn't remember that I did so many um, traditional drawing at the second half of October. Um, but I think this is the last um, traditional drawing I did for this month. So um, on day 22, we have heart and fancy plant pot. I think I've seen like so many plant pot on the market and these kind of like handmade shaping plant pot. It's my favorite. Like not just like you know round circle or square ones and just with the, like different color i mean they could be amazing but like for fancy pen pot for me um it could be like in any shape it's really cool um i actually have a friend um she did a really cool pot i'll put the link down below also in taiwan and taipei so you can go see her um, exhibition, it's just right happening right now, it's really cool. I used to um, work as a product designer in a ceramic company and we do a lot of like um, sculpturing kind of stuff, like piggy bang for a ceramic product. And it was really fun. I love working at there. I learned a lot from there. And that was my first job that I got from uh, like after I graduated from college. <clears throat> and but yeah, anyway, so for this one, I want to do like some kind of different shape in here. Like, don't ask me like how um, you change the water or like how much water, you know, you put it in there because I don't know. It's just the drawing so yeah so let's have this imagination in real life but like i didn't have a lot of plant pot in my house because i couldn't use it at all when i like put it at home maybe i can use it at something else not like for plants because my cats always destroy them like they're cats so <laughs> But like one of my cats even killed my cactus. I always talk about that. It's like, come on, it's a cactus. It killed them. Oh my god. I think I don't think I can keep any living plant um inside my house anymore. <laughs> so yeah. Um let's go to the day 23. So for day 23, I'm doing the harmless spider from Cheeks Over. And at first, I'm going to do like, remember in Harry Potter, like when they're practicing in class, like to defeat, like, um, turn your, um, the thing that you're scared the most stuff into something else, like Ron Weasley is doing, um, the spider and then he turn it into like with, um, ridiculous kind of hat. I remember, like, someone told me <laughs> the answer, and that, if you remember that, um, and the spider was on the roller skater, um, but, um, I was like, hey, it's almost Halloween, and maybe the spider wants to do, um, trick or treat, so I give him a little candy corn, because I'm 
I'm personally not a big fan for candy corn, but like they do look cute and it's very Halloween-ish um, item and the color. So I did this happy little spider that uh, um swinging with his candy. Like he just got it from trick or treat. So yeah, <laughs> this is the day 23 drawing. Day 24, we have Bird and Sarah Lemon. So I think that Bird is also cute on like chunky, rounded style. I mean, which animal doesn't look cute with the round, chunky um, shape in here? So like the lemon, it can turn it into like a really colorful um, bird in here. And then here's the lime virgin. Lion version of the cute little bird. So yeah, just make them um the slice, uh lemon slice for its wing, and they're pretty sour. <laughs> Look at those juice over there, and um, yeah, and just like a little practice on him. I don't know. I don't have much to say of this one because I feel like it's just a practice for this one. Um, not my favorite, you can tell. So let's do the day 25. Alright, we have day 25, more likely my favorite because it's cats. <laughs> um, so I did like a prompt that is, um, I didn't mention that before. It was the black cat from Create Toba, and then there's a prompt called Comfort Food Emos. Like food, a most like animal and food, so animal turn into the food. So um, that prompt called they are what they eat, but obviously like um, none of them are um something that cats can eat, but they look cute. So that's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> um. So I turned them, I just want to draw like a bunch of dessert for a while and then I turned them into something that I lay, like donuts, ice cream and the corn, and then like banco. Um, I don't know if um, you know this, it's kind of like a Japanese traditional kind of sweet, something, sometimes it can be savory. So it made, it's like a rice bowl, it's kind of smooshy ish kind of texture i love that and um of course macaron um i think i piped too much um cream here it's gonna it looks gonna explode but who doesn't like cream <laughs> so yeah um black cat typical halloween um, creature and uh, yeah i really like this drawing and then i'm happy did I try so many of them? Uh, I mean, not try in real life to eat, but I wish I can try. And these are very cute. I love the texture in here for the, for the gouache. I didn't put like the paper texture in here because I forgot, but I can add it on later, but doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, so let's go on day 26. So this one is also one of my favorite from the entire October drawing. This also become the inspiration for my um, 1k celebration, draw this in your style. Um, this one is really cute, like, all right, I said all of my store, uh, all of my drawing really cute, but I really like them. So my concept is to have like a little jaw that have some dreamy kind of um, creatures in there. It's more like a collection. I don't know if you've seen like people likes to put like some stuff in a little jaw. Maybe um, you went to somewhere to the beach and then you took some sand um, back from there. Um, you just make it as a collection or you put like a little mm, in the little jar with different color of sand. Why is it always sand? But 
either put a friend's stuff in there and I want to put my cloud bear in here. Like, look at this face! Yeah, so I love the texture of here and then I do like a pastel um, color palette and it's very soft and dreamy. And yeah, this is one of my favorite drawing too. So this is one of the draw this in your style from Crunchy. Uh, yeah, I'll put the original picture on the side. So it's basically like a bunch of ice cream and cream on there. It's really cute. Like, um, I think she drew the original with Chiba Inu and it just turned it into cat. Like, I love cats, so. <laughs> And I add on some pudding on my Sunday, which I would do it in my real life. And I love the cherry on the top, that's the best. And put some uh, different element like strawberries to, you know, balancing, balancing out the sweetness. And mm -hmm. of course, I draw the melting ice cream, melting everything, it's just cute and satisfying for drawing. <laughs> and here we have our um, cute scarecrow from day 29. I want to try and practice for a different perspective for drawing things. Like if you imagine you're like drawing like flying over the field and you look down and you can see like a pers perspective like that. Like when you're flying like this and then look down. So, um, because I think I didn't have much um, practice on like drawing different angles or maybe just like, you know, like the object, different angles just like this, but not like, you know, like putting it up from there. So, I think it's a really nice practice. I think I make the goal for my like improving my skill and um the drawing challenge i'm so proud of myself and this cute little scarecrow like you can see it's a cat and i love cats um but it's too cute that the crowd doesn't even want to like being scared away <laughs> so yeah it's pretty silly and uh, i love this practice um what do you think about that did I do a good job on this or nah, so so. I mean, I'll keep practicing on that so I can get better. It's the ideal for that, right? Here is a drawing. This, well, the story in this picture is actually the skeleton that he dropped his head and he picked up something on the ground because he can't see it but he picked the wrong thing which is the orange i don't know why is the orange so big or the skeleton is too small but it doesn't matter it's a drawing <laughs> so yeah um i just want to practice like a different texture combination in here so i make it like a wash um painting mixed with color pencil and this look cute like i like the texture here and the uh, um color color contrast in here like with the orange and yellow and then kind of spooky purple in here i know like uh when i think of spooky color it's like darker green or like darker purple like this it's spooky and cute yep so let's go to the last day of day 31 the day 31 of proms is definitely trick-or-treat and cat so let's do um there's actually another from, let me see, um, it's called Witch's Cookbook from Chicktober. So, um, in the original sketch that I made, um, let me show you. So it's in here. So it was like the cat was sitting in uh, this little container doing the cookbook at here. It looks like 
she's cooking herself maybe or maybe like she doesn't know where to sit so you know cats love containers they're definitely gonna sit in there do a liquid like so they can fit in anywhere and then so it's like with the trick-or-treat candy used to be net here and so but i think it's kind of too ordinary to be on that so i added on the jack-o-lantern um so he's she's thinking of like with the cookbook thing but obviously she's not thinking she's just sitting in the typical cat typical cat um acting um so yeah so trick-or-treat we must have candies in here and the cookbook that you made and with some um flowing lava or i don't know what kind of liquid in there but that's not definitely not something too good to drink so just say that <laughs> and i just realized i forgot to make this part into the liquid so i have no idea where the liquid came from that is silly please ignore that <laughs> yeah those um so here's our 31 day of um our inktober drawing i really enjoy that and like I said, I'm going to finish the three days that I missed in October in the future. Maybe it's soon because I'm also planning on um, a lot of things. So also, um, if you remember, like earlier, I mentioned about the draw this in your style that I made for my 1k celebration on my Instagram. So this is the original drawing that I made. It was inspired by... Um, my day 26 uh drawing so i made another collection this little cat so we're doing this sleepy moon cat with the landscape in just one little bottle so i think it's a really cute collection i want to do it with um different animal in the future if i have time and or like what kind of animals that I want to draw and so I want to give it give it like a dreamy vibes in here so this is my 1k um milestone celebration for draw this in your style so the deadline it's at December 9 and that it comes with the price that it can choose from my Etsy store about one um art print and three stickers that's what i plan for now um but it seems like it, it gone pretty viral that it's um i didn't expecting that but i'm happy with that and um i hope you who's watching this video also can join with us to celebrate for my milestone and um, more information will be down below in the description box for my for how to enter my um draw this in your style challenge once again thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you enjoy your stay if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and then click the subscription button below I'll see you next video. Bye bye.